Hi, I'm Dr. Paul gardner Stephen from Flinders University in the Serval Project. And today we're going to take one of our uh, mesh mobile telephones and we're going to uh, loft it up on this helium balloon here. And at the, soft, the phone will be running our software that allows other mesh phones to use this mesh phone to connect to the public uh, telephone network. So this one will find a 3G tower somewhere around, or even a regular cellular tower. Because of the height, we'll be able to see much further than the, uh, the phones on the ground. But to really prove the point, the phones that we're using on the ground actually won't have any SIM cards in. So we'll be proving that we can find a, a mobile dead spot, maybe because a, a tower has uh, gone down, or maybe it's just a remote area that's lacking coverage or in the country. Really, there's a, a whole variety of scenarios that could apply here. And we're just going to prove that we can, uh, using nothing more than uh, off-the-shelf mobile telephone hardware and server project software, uh, re-establish and, in fact, maintain communications uh, during a disaster or any of these other scenarios. So we'll, uh, we'll get started in a moment and uh, get this all mounted up. The point we're going to attach to the balloon, so we'll uh, just put it in this nice little neoprene sock, keep it nice and safe. And uh, in the bag here, which we will uh, take and cable tie to the uh, bottom. So one of the, the key things here is that, I mean, we're using a helium glue, but really putting one of these phones up on any vantage point will enable us to fill in uh, dead mobile phone coverage areas. And anyone can do it on their own. You don't need a carrier, you don't need the SES or anyone to, uh, to assist in that. The phone is completely self-organised and find you know, the best path to the regular telephone network that they can. Seconds of your G sharp, all right? G sharp with a square. What is the kind of way? That was mine. Oh, it's coming. Mm. Still working? Oh, it is. Yeah. Um, can you hear me fine? Yeah. Okay, but I'm not breaking up at all. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, like not breaking up. Very okay. I'll be breaking up. you tell this phone that I'm this number, right? And there's this thing will go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah okay. that's right, yeah. right? And you record your voice saying which phone you are, yeah. right? Um, but there's no guarantee that I am not lying. <laughs> but in a small village or something like that, yeah. then pretty quickly it'll be sorted out. Yeah. Just a mink come up. Because yeah. my brother, uh, brother-in-law is starting off a library, what he needs to do now. Okay, so uh, the balloon's up there and uh, passing over the right. shadow and this phone has no sim in it and I will uh, attempt to call myself so it says it's dialing takes a little while for the call to route through to the outside world and uh, we're actually using a, a VoIP provider in the United States so the call actually has to go uh, much further than it needs to but there you go it's ringing and I can answer and I can hello Talk to myself on the phone. 
So uh, this phone that has no SIM card is uh, happily relaying calls via the, uh, the balloon uh, through to the, uh, the public switch phone network and out to the outside world. So with no equipment other than just mobile phones, we're showing that we can uh, fill in dead spots of coverage on a uh, mobile telephone network. It's working. That is so cool. Testing. Here we go. go. Oh, feedback. Testing. Here we go. It's, we've got lots of speakerphone echo happening. We've got lots of speakerphone echoing happening. Actually, how about we swap phones? Let's swap phones. I'll go over here. I'll go over here. I'll go over here this one. Hello! Oh, I nearly cut your pen in half. Well, I think we're just about done for the day. We, uh, we got it up there with the phone on there. We made some phone calls. Uh, I think we had a little bit more interference with the, uh, the unit up there, of course, being able to see just about every access point for a kilometre around, which is uh, half the point of it, really. But uh, we made some calls, and that worked really well. And some other people made some calls, proving that uh, it's really not too hard to use. And so uh, here we are with a balloon that we uh, have to work out what we're going to do with next, and I guess we'll have to uh, find some way to pop it. But uh, yeah, no, we're, we're very happy with the way that the day has gone overall. We've learned some things and we know some things that we need to work on. But yeah, it's worked uh, pretty well overall. Thanks. <laughs>